Joining me in the studio today is the most handsome guy in the Gulf. Ah, oh, somebody what? turn up the air con, please. <laughs> hey. Welcome, Omar Bokan. Thank you, thank you. Uh, how does it feel to wear that crown? Uh, uh, it's good. I, I love it, but sometimes it's tiring because people expect you to be looking good all the time, and then sometimes you just want to be free and go wear whatever I'm sure whatever, yeah, yeah it's exhausting to look good all the time exactly yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you were born with the jeans so you're half you're more oh, than halfway you. there thank you now it's no surprise then you're a model but you actually started out as a fashion photographer right. so what was the cause for this switch well uh, I used to you know like uh, take a lot of photos of my friends and uh, some clients for fashion photography and stuff and then um, people start advising me that you look good you should be in front of the camera I mean, you know not behind and then I started you know like uh, taking pictures of myself I, I let my brother or whoever and then uh, the pictures start looking good and uh, people liked it and uh, I was like okay uh, this is working Let, let's just keep going on it so so do you still dabble in photography or mostly modeling now it's, uh, it's like a hobby um, since I was, uh, you know, like uh, 11 years old, I love photography. Um, I always had uh, cameras in my room and stuff, so uh, I, I still take pictures of my uh, family, friends, uh, but not as a, a real job, or you know? Yeah, nice yeah. to swap, you know, as you say, you can be in front of the lens and you can also jump behind it. Exactly. You've worked with huge brands, Gucci, Hugo Boss, even Evian Water. Right. Now I've got to ask, did they jump at the opportunity for a wet t-shirt in the campaign? Uh, <laughs> They did. Really? Well, yeah. Well, it's heavy in water. Yeah, and yeah. they've got you, this mega right. top model. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to look those shots up later. Yeah. Now, you're also the first Arabic brand ambassador for Samsung in South America. So how do you enjoy the travel that's involved with your work? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, for me to visit all these countries, and, and I learned a lot from their culture. Uh, the Spanish culture is amazing. Uh, South America in total. It's uh, one of my favorite places that, you know, Mexico, uh, Cancun, and yes. like, you know, like it's amazing. We yeah. also said that um, Mexico City really reminds you of your home city of Baghdad. Right, right, so right. That it's a very big city, uh, always busy, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people and uh, just the vibe and, you know, like how it's built, it, it reminded me of, uh, of Baghdad for sure. Oh, nice yeah. memories. Yeah. Beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. I'm back talking with Omar Bulkan. He's a boss online and off. He has amassed over three and a half million followers. Now, part of this is due to the exposure you've gained from your acting career. Um, what's in the pipeline? What projects are you working on? Uh, now uh, I'm working on a very, very exciting project. Uh, it's a YouTube series. Um, that's gonna be um, released in May, maybe uh, mid of May. That's uh, soon. That's yeah, next yeah. month. It's called Expensive Taste. Oh. Uh, basically, the idea that we go and try the most expensive things in Dubai. So it's very fun. Uh, I love it, and I get to try all the expensive things for free. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. No complaints. Do yeah, you exactly. need a wing woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do have one, but yeah. I know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe, uh, you know, like the next one, the, the part two. Okay, part two. okay. Yeah. And I've got to ask in almost all of your footage, Omar, right. you are wearing a Gucci. So, why has this become your signature style? I started uh, wearing this first when I really started getting famous. So, start people start noticing me and they, they know me for, for this style. So, uh, it looks good on me. So, I love it. Yeah. Did it? Um, but do you ever think you're going to switch it up, change your look, or it's it's stuck now? You well, want... look, like once you switch it up, you just become like everyone else, and uh, you know, like for me, it's something that's you know like unique about me, and I wear it. A lot of people wear it too, but like for me, I present it for globally for yeah. a lot of people. So. I yeah. like it. So now you're even the star of your own personalized emoji app. Right. That is so cool. How was yeah. that to build? Uh, well, I, I, a company approached me that they, they wanted to build uh, an emoji app for me. And I was like, OK, cool, let's do it. And they came back, came back with a very nice uh, uh, emojis. And I was like, OK, I love it. I'm going to, you know, like uh, sign on it. And then we released it. It's on iTunes. Uh, 
app store. Did you tweak it at all? Were you kind of like, no, 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 you know, my nose is this way or... <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I, 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 my only, uh, you know, like, um, the reason that I wanted to do it, um, it has like the Arabic kind of emojis. No one done it before. No one mm -hmm. had like, you know, like the Arabic emojis and like uh, Dubai and, and, and luxury cars and all that. So I wanted to do this. It's unique. I love it. But yeah. it's also got your horse in it. Yeah, yeah. What? Is that cool? I love it. Yeah, because yeah, then it makes it really nice. personalized. I know. So what? It's like my pictures, they turned it to, to emojis. So, uh, oh, yeah, okay. everything so that... directly from real photos exactly. that they saw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah, is so, that's so nice, cool. Yeah. And do your brothers, so you're the eldest of three, right. do they also use this app and kind of, they're like, oh yeah, that's me. And they're yeah. like, no, it's not your brother. And they're like, no, it's me. <laughs> One of my brothers looks. Uh, uh, so much like me uh, you know people think that we're twins sometimes so uh, he can you know like pass so he's your on body it. double yeah yeah he can pass on it pass on it and say like it's me but yeah people knows <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's so cool I love it thank you so much Omar Volkan for coming thank on the show thank you for having me you can catch our full Beats and Bloggers interview at dancefm.com this is Praise Cats on The Vibe